Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini or Cross Watcher, wherever you have this planetary placement and wherever you are out on that planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we are grateful for your presence. Thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. It is solid, it is unconditional, it is a fact. If you are going to claim this reading, please only do it from your higher self and for your higher good, and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, the information on how to do that is in the box below. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell? It is fun. It is entertainment purposes only. It does not cost you anything. And it will make you feel good because it's positive energy you're sending out into the universe that has no choice but to attract back to you. In the meantime, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Gemini. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Sended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Gemini. Gemini, we're working with energy. It is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Also, anybody could be resonating in any one of their planetary placements at any time. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how. We're going to help somebody here today. Yeah? Yeah. Show me Gemini. Gemini. What's going on with Gemini? Gemini. Whoa, Gemini. King of Cups. So, you know, if you're not dealing with somebody that has water in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, then this is you with a very loving heart, being very diplomatic, devoted, emotionally balanced, emotionally mature, right? Something like this. Let's see. Loving. The King of Cups is daddy. Affectionate. Supportive. Empathetic. Maybe some kind of a healer. Show me. Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini, there's a breakthrough judgment call. You could be dealing with Scorpio specifically or have Scorpio highly aspected somewhere, but there's some kind of a decision being made with the judgment. This is about some kind of renewal, maybe forgiveness, an awakening, an evaluation. Archangel Michael. Somebody could be resurrecting something here. Maybe you're resurrecting something with the King of Cups archetype. Show me at the foundation of this situation. Okay, here we go. Now, you have a Queen of Cups in reverse at the foundation. So the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is somebody who's very insecure, very dependent on other people, overly sensitive, maybe jealous, deceitful, immature, not emotionally balanced. What's crowning Gemini? Yeah, being persistent, resilient, not taking no for an answer and not giving up in a situation here. Okay, it's the Nine of Wands. Tired, close to success, but tired, but not giving up, not taking no for an answer. Here you go. You got four of wands coming in. Aries energy for some kind of celebration, some kind of excitement. Home, community, reunions, maybe, you know, definitely stability, family, marriage like this. Peaceful, happy environment. Show me. Now, oh, look, you got some kind of passionate new beginning. This is how you're looking at it in your mind's eye. This is passion. This is enthusiasm. This is a spark of life, a match lit under your ass. It's, you know, creativity, confidence. It's energy. So, you know, definitely some kind of passionate new beginning in some kind of a uh, community, family, celebration. Show me. Okay, here you go. You got a nine of pentacles almost coming out in reverse in your environment. So in your environment right now, you may have some material instability. Maybe there's some superficiality going on or perhaps reckless spending. Maybe, you know, yeah, materialistic and monetarily, you may might be struggling here. There's going to be a surprise and shock, something you don't see coming, something that's going to change everything. Again, Scorpio energy. So high Scorpio, Virgo here, the tower energy. Show me an unexpected change. What's the most likely outcome? So prepare yourself for that, Gemini. Show me the most likely outcome, please. Here we go. Is King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is obviously you sitting in your power, Gemini, male or female. Very uh, clear thinking and reasonable, disciplined, strict, articulate. <coughs> there is an e energy of benevolence here, some kind of fair, equal, you know, maybe support materialistically, financially, whatever it is. It's the Six of Pentacles. There's some kind of giving and some kind of gratitude. Somebody could be trying to, you know, um, evenly share between people. You have Libra energy here. There's some kind of community, family, celebration, maybe some parties, some get-togethers. Somebody's holding back here, maybe trying to save their money. Something's about to make somebody very happy. You're dealing with high Leo here. Just be strong. You got a wish coming true. Great. That's great. Okay. Let's see. We're going to clarify for you, Gemini. I told you the signs. Gemini. Gemini. One more. Clear and concisely, please. Gemini. Show me the energy. Thank you. Here we go, Gem. Show me the top row. Clarify the top row, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Come on, ancestors. I just bit my tongue when I said that. So, you know what? Maybe somebody did that. Seven of Pentacles. Patiently waiting for whatever it is that you planted, you know, to grow. This is the hardest part. You could be bored. You could be, you know, contemplating whether or not um, it's going to be what you wanted. It's taking a long time. There will be a harvest. It's just a matter of having patience and waiting for it to grow. Right into the Queen of Pentacles. I saw the Queen of Pentacles over here. Okay, let me see. Right there. Becoming financially stable, hardworking. Maybe some of you started a business, some kind of financial endeavor. All right. This is an energy of someone who is very sensible, down to earth, generous, disciplined, hardworking. And now you're waiting for whatever it is that you've been working on. It's going to come. You got the Queen of Pentacles there. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. Show me. Somebody can be really tired all the time. Show me. Gemini. Here we go, Gemini. You have the High Priestess. Pisces energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male and female. This is somebody that answers to a higher power. This is somebody that thirsts for knowledge. Um, it's a keeper of the collective unconscious. Somebody who does things quietly. So whatever you're doing, you might be doing very quietly or secretly here. Some kind of new beginning that you might be keeping on the down low. A new financial beginning. This could have been the beginning, whatever you planted, right? Now you're patiently waiting. Somebody can be very esoteric, metaphysical here. I'm seeing a little brown bunny. Somebody might have a, a pet bunny or guinea pig. Here we go. Something like this. This is the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, this is you. Seated in your power. Being very clear thinking. Knowing some kind of truth. Making decisions with your head and your intellect over your heart and your emotions. Being very straightforward, direct, and brave. Fair and balanced. Show me. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, here we go. You got the two of swords. It's coming in on a shelf, meaning you're about to see something very clearly or, you know, something was about to be seen very clearly. You're coming out of a state of denial with the two of swords on the shelf. There could have been some kind of information revealed. It could have been an overload or truth revealed, perhaps. Here you go, Knight of Rods. Gem uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy for somebody very enthusiastic, somebody who, you know... Is very self-serving, maybe egotistical. They're in for a good time, not for a long time. They're a lot of fun, but not very um, commitment-oriented. They are charming, energetic, courageous. Show me. Let's go down here now. Yeah. Here we go. Show me. So now you have this four of wands coming in. What are we doing with that? We have the Empress, Taurus energy for somebody who knows their worth and their value, somebody who will not accept less than they deserve. It's the best attributes of all four queens rolled up into one and then, then some, right? Everything they touch turns to gold. They're very fertile. Somebody could be having a baby, a family, getting married and get, you know, having babies here. Somebody could be birthing anything, a business, right? With that Queen of Pentacles. Show me. What kind of financial? Here we go. All right, so now we have a five of pentacles. There's some kind of loss. It could be a financial loss, obviously, or a materialistic loss. Somebody could be left out in the cold. Uh, whatever it is, it's a level of poverty. 
an energetic poverty, whether, whether it's money, resources, um, emotions, nine of pentacles. Now it's upright. That's really good. That's a contradictory. So you have this loss, okay? This poverty. But it looks like you're definitely going to recover from it with this Nine of Pentacles. This, that's working hard and being rewarded for it. That is, you know, Nine of Pentacles talks about luxury achievement and material security. It's, it's about effort and success from the effort that you put in. But I, you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like somebody wouldn't accept less than they deserved here, Gemini. And there was a, 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 you know, I don't feel like this is a financial poverty. I feel like this is an emotional poverty. Like somebody left you out in the cold or you left somebody in the, out in the cold because perhaps, you know, and somebody picked in, you know, a path in a direction, made a decision to move because um, maybe something wasn't satisfactory or enough, right, for this energy. Now there is some kind of financial reward. Oh, now you're going to get the Ten of Cups. Look at this. So you're going to get everything you need here or want. You're going to get love, emotions, um, fulfillment. I think because this person wouldn't accept, whether this is you or somebody else, less than they deserved. So they may have walked away. There may have been a feeling of poverty, loss. But because of that, there was there's a reward here. And, you know, financially and emotionally. I'm telling you, some of you might get married and have kids here. I'm seeing snow falling. There could be something about the snow. Show me. Show me. What else is going on for Gemini? Thank you. Please and thank you. Let's see what we have here. All right. So you have some... Okay. So somebody's getting over some kind of um, emotional pain or some kind of an ending here. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's um, definitely lessons learned and an improvement. We have a Four of Cups here. Somebody might have to be in deep contemplation. Okay, there's some kind of level of maybe with the four of cups, I'm getting an energy right here of some kind of disconnection or maybe indifference in a situation. You also have the five of wands in reverse. Excellent. Somebody might be in deep contemplation about with the five of wands in reverse, um, calling a truce, avoiding conflict, cooperating and creating peace in a the situation. They're over whatever, whatever bullshit was in the past. Okay, the ten of swords in reverse, whatever endings, whatever it was. Okay, it's lessons learned. It's an improvement getting over it, contemplating, you know, calling a truce and cooperating with each other. Using your head over your heart here with the queen, the king of swords. <clears throat> um, show me. King of swords. What are we doing here? Okay, we have the wheel of fortune turning in someone's favor. Good luck, good karma. Decisions that are about to change the fate of your destiny. It is your destiny. Sagittarius energy. My hand just started to itch. Show me. You also have, you have the seven of swords in reverse. Somebody's going to come out of their face with the truth. There's some, somebody did some kind of betrayal or something, okay? Whatever it was, it was deception. It was scheming. It was lying. It was a betrayal of some sort, okay? They're about to tell you. There's a truth. Somebody's conscience is bothering them, and there's going to be a truth revealed. Somebody has some regret for something they did. This is going to be very fortunate for you with that wheel of fortune there. Here you go. Okay. Somebody, three cups. In reverse, maybe feeling isolated and lonely, spending a lot of time in solitude. There could be a social imbalance here. And at the bottom of the deck, you have a Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus. Somebody who's very loving, kind, caring, warm, sensitive, some kind of a healer, some kind of a spiritualist. Somebody who's going to be very supportive and affectionate. It could be a mother or mother figure. You're going to get some kind of good news or a message. It might stick you up in your head. Somebody, again, with the Six of Pentacles wants to um, be benevolent or have some kind of a shared give and take, like an equal give and take. There isn't Ten of Pentacles here. I'm telling you, some kind of financial reward, long-term stability, health, wealth, happiness, family, legacy, and the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Six of Wands. You're going to have success at this. This is beautiful. Okay? Gemini, you got this. Let's just get you some letters. We love you. I gave you all the signs. We got Taurus here. Pisces on top. What do we have? Sagittarius. Yep. Leo. Virgo. Here we go. You have R L T V J. Okay, R-L-T-V-J, A, two I's, O, U. Thank you so much, Gemini. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.